we're going to talk about difficulty and how we can use a variable to change the difficulty of our game over time. And there's a whole lot of ways to do this. For example, make it a little harder when you get to a certain score. Make every level that you go up a little bit harder than the last. Make it a little bit harder the longer you're in the game for, things like that. And we're going to talk about the concept of how you might be able to make a game harder. And in this video, we're just going to focus on the enemy and increasing the difficulty of the enemy over time. Because our snakes just move up from the bottom of the screen and they can hit us and we lose a life when they hit us, it's actually really easy to play the game when they're moving quite slow. We're going to start, I'll just show you here. We've already dropped it from 80 to 50. Let's just drop it again to 30. And if we have a look at the game, the snakes are tremendously slow, actually. This is a very easy game to play. But if we go back, let's make it minus 100. Let's see if we can play the game now. It's still playable, but the difficulty has gone up exponentially. It's much harder to get that coin now. How can we make these snakes speed up the longer we're playing the game for so it gets harder and harder? We're going to use a variable for that, so that's where we're going to start. We're going to make the variable. We're going to put it in our on start to initialize it. Because we're using this variable to change the speed of our snakes, let's call this one snake speed and we're going to set it to z uh, to one to begin with so grab the set block and just make sure in your on start that it's not zero that it is one how can we apply this variable to the code that we already have we're going to find the instances where the speed of our snake is written in code and we're going to incorporate this snake speed into that. We'll come up with a little equation. Let me find where that is. So it's over here on game update every 1,000 milliseconds. There's 1,000 milliseconds in every second, so this means every second our game plays, run this code. And in this code here, we have our velocity. Set snake velocity to and we've got it as minus 100 for our example now. How about we think of a base speed to begin with, a slow speed. I'm going to pick minus 40. And how can we apply our speed variable to this number? Well, right now, our snake speed is set to 1. And everything, or every number times by 1, stays the same. So minus 40 times by 1 is still minus 40. But minus 40 times by 2 is, is a different number. So using that mathematical concept, let's use, instead of just writing a number, let's use a little equation so that the game can figure out what the number needs to be. And we're going to times our base speed which we've just picked as minus 40, you can pick a different number. We're going to times what that is by what our snake speed variable is. Find snake speed in the variables category, drag it over, put it in the second half of our times equation. So now if we read this out loud to ourselves, we've got set snake velocity vx to zero and vy to minus 40 times snake speed. What that means is, we'll set it to minus 40 times one. And this is where now we can actually start introducing the concept of changing the difficulty. If we make snake speed a larger number and use that in our equation, then our end result is going to be a larger number. Let's drag over another game update under the game category on game update every 500 milliseconds now remembering there's 1000 milliseconds in every second and we have some options here in the drop down menu five seconds is the is the longest here and that's 5000 
milliseconds, but we've got control over actually how long it is. So if we wanted to make something occur every 10 seconds, how many milliseconds do you think that might be? If you answered 10,000, then you're correct. So every 10,000 milliseconds, every 10 seconds, we're actually going to change our snake speed. Now at the moment, it'll default to change snake speed by one. And if we think about what that's going to involve, let's look at our code here. It's going to go from what is minus 40 times by one, that's minus 40. And then we go up and the snake changes difficulty to the difficulty level two. And then what happens? Well, it becomes minus 40 times two, which is minus 80. And now all of a sudden, we've made our game exactly twice as hard as what it used to be. So let's not increase our snake speed by one every time so that it doubles the first time it goes up. Let's just increase it by a small amount. Let's increase it actually by a fraction of an amount. 0 0.1 is what we're going to put. And if you've been doing fractions and percentages at school, you'll know that this is an increase of 10%. So it's a small jump getting faster every time. So if we play our game now, every 10 seconds, our snakes will get 10% faster. Just to highlight this, I'm going to quickly make it happen every half a second. So on our game here, every half a second, our snakes should just be getting a little bit faster and a little bit faster. And well, now they're quite fast. So we can see that the longer we play the game, the faster the snakes get and the harder it's going to be. So let's exit out of this example. And whenever you make a little test like that, don't forget to change it back to what it should be. Let's make it 10,000 again. One, two, three. We've proven to ourselves that it works. So we can take our word for it now that while we're playing this game, every 10 seconds, it's gonna get a little faster. The longer I play the game for, we know now, the faster the snakes are gonna get and the harder the game's gonna be to play.